Okay. Right, so we're up, we've done noun, adjective, verb, and adverb, and we're up to conjunction. Now, sadly, in the not too distant future, at some point, as I said, sadly, you will all get a driver's license. Oh, oh, sadly, not safe. Yeah. So, on behalf of society, please drive carefully. <laughs> okay, but I want to discuss this word conjunction because the thing about conjunction, she's the student in the room that cares about everybody. She just wants everybody to be friends. So you got, you might have like verb and noun often clash. And like she's like, oh, you're such an idiot, and he's like, mm, you're such an idiot, and all of that. And she's like, mm, let's just be friends. So she's like, <laughs> that's me. She cares about everybody and she wants people to be friends. She's always pulling people together. So in a sentence, and very often, so for example, I went to the shop and I bought some oranges and apples. Okay, that and in the middle, I could actually separate those two clauses and make them separate sentences if I wanted to. But my conjunction wants to bring them together and join and make it one big happy sentence. That's our conjunction. She's our joiner. Okay, so if we go back to the driving license thing. Okay, so this is my little diagram of a road. Okay, at some point when somebody, somebody is going to give you a license and you're going to be driving along the road and you're going to drive along and this is called a junction. And you'll notice that here is the word junction in the word, hidden in the word conjunction. Okay, so you reach this junction, and if these lights are red, that means stop. <laughs> Just so we're clear, sometimes there will be a sign that says stop. When you get to that sign, you must stop. All right. Um, when you get to the end of this road, then you've got some decisions to make. You can keep going if you want to, or you can stop right there. Because in sentences, you can actually stop when you get to the end and have a complete sentence, and then we have our full stop, our punctuation, or you can just add a conjunction and keep going, join the other road up to it. That's what the conjunction does in a sentence. It can join words and it can join clauses together. Okay, so that's our conjunction. Moving on to pronoun. Now pronoun, there's a couple of pronouns in the class and they're the wannabes. They're not as good looking as the verb and the noun, but they want to be as Abby. good looking as the verb and the noun. Abby. So they listen to the same music, they will dress in the same clothes, they'll shop in the sh same shops. They go to the same table, they watch the same movies, and they start to take on the same sort of mannerisms and stuff. And you, you know, when you talk to them, you think, oh, that's really irritating because you're trying to be like, you're trying to be like verb, or you're trying to be like man, but you're like so not pulling it off. Um, but, but this is, this is the pronoun. So you'll notice that noun is in the word pronoun. They are pro the noun, because they're all about that noun, that they're trying to be. Now, a pronoun, examples are he, she, and it. So while I was talking about Hayley this morning and how she got really soggy in the rain, I could say, Hayley was wet. <laughs> is to show you how you can replace a noun with a pronoun. But thanks for destroying that. <laughs> All right, do you see what I did there? Yes. yes. So, if I referred to the tree, <coughs> and I wanted to replace it with a pronoun, what would it be? It. it. So it is the pronoun, it is pro the noun, it stands instead of the noun, which is tree. Do you understand that? Yes. 
Are you sure? Yes. Because you will be tested on this. All right. Now we come to article. There are only two articles that you need to worry about. They are the and a. Okay. If if I say um, here is a tree, then that could be any number of trees, right? If I say to you, here is the tree, the then I'm actually saying there's something a little bit more special about that tree, which makes it a little bit more definite. It is the definite article. Where are we? The is the definite article, and a uh is the indefinite article. So, sorry? Is that the person that always gets their assignments done? It's oh, that is definitely me. The um, teacher's pet. The, well, I'm just thinking about the Mrs. Davidson or the Lockie. Yeah. <laughs> the, there's not Sally Lockie. The Lockie comes in. You know Lockie's in the room. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. the definite article, the, the definite day. article, he is the loudest, noisiest. Lovely person, no. so loud. Well, so loud. Room, She's yeah. not even that okay. And then we have the er, uh, which is the indefinite article. And she's, she's like everybody's friend. She gets on well with everyone. She fits in with everyone. She's just really lovely. That's the indefinite article. Doesn't make a scene, but really lovely. Okay, so if you said uh, apple, that doesn't sound accurate. And that's because the first letter is a vowel. Well done. Yes, So it fits. There's some learning that's gone on last year. Okay, how are we going? Good? Right, we're up to preposition. Okay, the preposition, and I've put this last on the list because when you look, Oh, thank you. I'll just pause it there and start again. Oh, okay, it's all good. 